everybody. It's me, Keisha Koo. Y'all, I was sitting here. <laughs> I just started uh, searching uh, Spotify. I know I'm I'm old timer, even though I'm young. But anyways, I come across this uh, podcast, and I, I kind of like it. Um, I don't have a bone to pick in this battle, but um, it's uh, Jerry Lee Lewis's niece, and I think it's his sister's daughter. But, um, and I'm sure that she has a lot of insight with it being her uncle. And I don't know which wife Judith is, but I think from what I've covered her before, that um, if you go back in my Jerry Lee Lewis videos, it, you know, it's not Myra, so don't go for Myra. I don't want to hear nobody going for Myra. Anyways, but, um, because I'm still going to cover her. I, I bought her book. I just, I have to read it. I wish it was actually on audio because I just, I dread reading because I have to wear my glasses and trying to look at it. But, um, anyways, uh, this is Jerry Lee Lewis's. Yeah, uh, I do have I to come in at the end of this. My husband up, makes noise. I'm so I sorry. Have, I would have to get out I of this will podcast be my and I'm just going to let y'all listen to. Uh, but I think it's his several, anyways, it's, it was somehow his wife in the later years and I think that her his daughter that was helping him manage his money for like 10 years her and the daughter had like some kind of fallen out jerry lee lewis's daughter uh is it Edie? i think it's i, I don't know i don't remember his daughter's name specific but i love her name and she looks just like her dad and it's uh it's his daughter that helped him manage his money well i think when and miss judas you know if anybody for her don't come for me i'm just covering it because you know i'm a youtuber so I'm just here for the commentary, baby, and I love Jerry Lee Lewis, so, um, and this is what his niece is saying, but, um, and I, <laughs> I don't mean to, I don't mean to laugh because it's not funny. I have no bone to pick him with this, you know, I've never met Miss Judith, but I do know that I think something happened where she came between him and his daughter, and he pretty much, like, pushed his daughter, not pushed her aside because he loves his daughter, but pretty much, like, gave all the the say so to his wife judith uh and the title of this podcast is wicked widow episode one introduction and okay and it's called the legacy my uncle jerry lee lewis and i think it's linda lewis's jerry lee lewis's sister's daughter but i'm not for sure but i think so but we're just gonna listen to what she has to say i hope y'all can hear it because i'm watching it on my big tv and I'll upload it with some pictures. I'll find some pictures to upload with it. But this is called Legacy. And it's Wicked Widow Episode 1 Introduction. Nobody don't come for me on here. It's on a podcast. So I'm just covering it. You know, I don't know uh, Miss Judith. But <laughs> I've had a long week. And I just want to get somebody else's drama. So let's just listen to it. <laughs> Widow of the late Jerry Lee Lewis. But it's not about revenge. It's about accountability. A friend of mine was planning to, to do this podcast, but I persuaded her it should be me. I don't want her in the line of fire. I'm sure this will make more than a few people angry. I just ask everyone to listen, please, with an open mind. My name is Mary Jean Ferguson, and I'm the daughter of the late Cecil Harrelson and Linda Gale Lewis. Linda Gale Lewis told y'all. I'm directly involved with this podcast because I don't like drama. I don't like to hurt people, even if they hurt me. I don't like drama either, baby, but I like other people's drama because I have enough in my own life. <laughs> this is, uh, this is, so I, this, y'all, this is our first time listening it together. I actually filmed this last night and I was like, oh, I'd like to cover this on our channel because, you know, I'm going to be covering, I've already covered so much of Jerry Lee Lewis, so it's not like I'm just hopping on a bandwagon. You know, if you go back, he was the first person I covered on my channel because I'm, I'm only like an hour away from Faraday, Louisiana. Uh, Faraday, Louisiana. I'm going to take y'all to his old house probably in about a couple of weeks from now. But anyways, let's go ahead and press play and I'll be quiet. But I do have to interrupt so often or I'll get a strike on my channel. Not a strike, but I'll, I'll, I won't get my channel to be, you know, monetized. And that said, at some point you have to stop people from causing harm through any means possible. There are a number of people angry with Judith, and up until I started working on this podcast, I was still very angry. Now, after doing about 15 versions of this episode, I feel like the anger is a bit less. 
it's quite subsided. Now, I just really want to make things right. I want the Wicked Widow to stop her antics. I want her to stop the abuse. I want her to stop the bullying, stop the lying, stop the attention seeking, and stop damaging the legacy of my late uncle, Jerry Lee Lewis. Well, how do we make her stop? We have to stand up for him and for what is right, because it won't stop as long as she has people around her that choose to make excuses for her and defend her every move. I understand loyalty. Standing by someone who has made a mistake and supporting them is one thing, but fighting in their corner is quite another. All these so loyal to Judith? What is their motivation? She is a link to their hero, their idol. She gives them gifts. She gives them little titles. She lets them have liberties such as using the intellectual property. She endorses them on fan sites. And for this, they sell out Uncle Jerry and do her bidding. One of her loyal subjects? Well, sometimes he loves her, sometimes he hates her. He says that she... Yeah, but for what I'm gathering, I don't think Judith has any kids with Jerry. So if, if y'all are being loyal to Judith, baby, she's getting on up there in age. I'm just saying, I don't know how long she's going to have uh rights to his you know probably until she passes away maybe i'm gonna come back on here in a minute and google and see how much how long they've been married but i know that it has to be i he probably i want to say probably I, I don't know but I, I remember covering this and it was something i didn't like the way that she did his daughter you know but um <laughs> i don't mean to laugh but I'm just saying that y'all just remember that legacy's not going to be there forever with Miss Judith because, baby, his, they're going to have it in that will. It's going to go to that, that da his daughter and the, the immediate family because I don't think any kids that she would have would have rights to Mr. Jerry Lee Lewis's music. I think automatically, and I'm from Louisiana, so I know the law. So I think automatically... Now, if I'm not mistaken, if his daughter was born, you know, if, if or if anything, I know as far as any of his stuff here in Louisiana, with his uh, his house that he grew up in and all that verity and all that stuff, and, you know, I think automatically that uh, it depends on where the courts are, that when if, if it went to his wife, like uh, all the, the rights for the, uh, if she's giving them permission to use certain, you know, copyrights or whatever then i think that if she passes away that it would automatically go to his daughter or any you know any or if he has any sons i think he has a son but it would go to his immediate family uh his sister maybe people like that but uh let's go ahead and listen to uh miss linda lewis's jerry lee's sister uh sister's uh a pod sister's daughter's podcast so this is his niece speaking and I'm going to go ahead and press play. I hate to interrupt, but like I said, I don't want to get uh, demonetized. So, She has lied to him. She has embarrassed him. But he's publicly defended her anyway, saying that she is really a nice lady. He says that she misses the attention that comes from being the wife of a rock star. And so she uses the fan pages for attention, including Uncle Jerry's artist page. He says he's asked her to stop using that page and stop posting things that are inappropriate. But she does it anyway, and he feels helpless. So what does he do about it? Nothing. He just talks about her behind her back so that he doesn't lose his position in the fans' world. What? So where does his loyalty... <laughs> Do what? Hold on, i got to rewind this a little bit. You've got to be kidding me. Hold on, let me rewind this, y'all. I'm not going to interrupt. Let's rewind it. <laughs> Hold on. I'm trying to press play on here. Give me a minute. Okay. So what does he do about it? Nothing. He just talks about her behind her back so that he doesn't lose his position in the fans' world. So where does his loyalty lie? Is he loyal to the killer? Or is he loyal to himself? Or is he loyal to Mrs. Killer? You know who you are. Maybe you should just stand up for the man that you say means so much to you. Oh, and someone told Judith she should be really careful who she trusts. 
because most of the people in her inner circle with whom I'm acquainted are lying to her face. Bribing people so you can control them never really works. It just leads to resentment in the end. Well, oh. today, Judith is doing the official unveiling of that giant headstone that she calls a monument. And I'm sure her trusted allies will be there to support her and hold court. Oh, it's really quite sad. There can be no doubt that fans were conned out of money to pay for this giant block of granite with no bespoke design and no consideration for the uh, location, no consideration. Wait, y'all, I don't know what location it. it's at. I'm going to look that up later, too. I wonder what location it's at, because I just come around, look, I'm new to all this, honey. What in the world? You, wait, okay, so she's saying that Jerry Lee Lewis is, I don't know, however many, I know Mr. Jerry's been married several times, you know, but uh, that his, his last wife, which is this one right here, that um she had the fans to raise money for now i'm just relaying the message nobody come for me i'm new to all this i'm just covering it and uh, you know uh you can leave comments down below <laughs> i don't know but uh so she went on there and asked for help to raise money for the mo monument and i wonder where she put the monument at i mean did she put it in louisiana i would think now, i don't know now it depends on where he first got his start but w to me being a Jerry Lee Lewis fan, of course, I'm a younger fan. I was born in 1982, so it's not like I know everything about, you know. But him coming from Louisiana, it would seem like he would have a monument maybe like in Faraday, Faraday, Louisiana. I don't know, though. You know, I don't know, you know, where he would have one at or uh, maybe, here, let's go ahead and press play, Tennessee or something like that. But I, th I would think Louisiana, wouldn't y'all, since he was born there? Kind of like if it was a monument. Okay, let's go ahead and press play. Uh, location, no consideration for the other graves around it. It, it isn't special. The etching that everyone was told about turns out to be a bit of stone, a small bit of stone with an etching that is glued onto that giant monstrosity of a dead stone. The outlandish ideas about speakers and such, I'm so relieved that never happened. All this was a distraction from the lack of effort and design, also a way to keep people engaged and send them their money. After the backlash from the fans who were upset, Judith changed her story so many times I've lost count. But the most significant thing was not any of her written posts, but rather a video that she posted at the cemetery, pretending to cry and to be hurt while obviously very angry. She's a terrible actress, by the way. To what? She was her disdain for all those who were unhappy with this purchase. This was on his artist page, so inappropriate, and it just shows the level of her arrogance. Even more inappropriate, she pled poverty on that page. She asked for money from fans. How Some embarrassing. I'm sorry, but you just have to imagine. This is Jerry Lee Lewis, okay? And do you really think his family would want her out there if she's... Now, I, I don't know, Miss Judith. I haven't seen all this firsthand, but I'm just saying that I don't think his niece would lie about something like that. That's Miss Linda's daughter. And him and his sister's always been real, real, real close. I mean, but I mean... <laughs> surely i could see where there's a problem with that is i mean embarrassment as far as the family goes her going up there saying she needs help and needs you know to raise money for for this for their monument and all that and they're sitting there it makes it look like that they don't have any of the funds to be able to do that themselves or saying that she's at property level which i don't know i'm just saying that what's been told on this podcast but, you know, I know I would have a problem with that, even if it was my family member. And, and uh, I mean, if you really need help, you know, that's different. But if you know that you have the the, the means and the uh, money to be able to do that yourself, you know, then then uh, that's a whole different story. So, um, I hope this monument looks good because I haven't seen it yet. So, let's go ahead and press play shows the level of her arrogance even more inappropriate she pled poverty on that page she asked for money from fans some of whom struggle to make ends meet and made sacrifices to contribute 
I think it was in terrible taste for her to ask for money from fans when she has plenty to keep her very well for the rest of her days. Mm. But instead, she told one fan that she was worried about putting food on the table. Do what? Also... You know what? I can kind of understand that because if Mr. Jerry Lee, Lee's um, fans, you know, I happen to be a younger one. Now, you might find a few younger ones like me. You know, I'm, I just turned 42, so I was born in 1982. But, I mean, you think of a lot of his fans probably are in their elder years, maybe 50s. You know, she, I'll be hit, but no, I'm, I'm like, I'm 41 just turned 42 in May. But, I mean, you just think of that, though. If a lot of these people are, and they grew up Julie Lewis fans, and, you know, they, they're sitting there and, uh, maybe in their 60s or even 70s and they're donating and all that and they're just a regular little person on social security or something that's a lot for them to have to give so i would understand a family member having a problem with that that you know that these people are on their probably that don't really have very much to give because they love mr jerry lee lewis and uh, jerry lee and the, the killer you know they love them so really really concerned that she might be buried anonymously never mind the fact that she owns most of the intellectual property and gets paid for that she gets half of the widow's share of uncle jerry's um social security which is half of his social security she also owns a house outright and she's had another one built she bought a new car um these are all things that people that are worried about putting food on the table these are things that people who are concerned about being buried anonymously don't do exactly yeah there are some people that will defend her actions but i don't believe any of them actually care about her she certainly doesn't care about any of them except what they can do for her and what can they do for her well it's bad enough that she has them to pay for this monument with her name on it but when you look at the numbers, the numbers just don't add up. Natchez Monument Company says this monument costs $87,306. It better be a good looking mm -hmm. monument. Secret shopper went out, got five estimates, five quotes. And of those five quotes, not one even hit the halfway mark of that price tag. Uh -oh. So I have to wonder who all was involved in this con. I have to wonder what my Uncle Jerry would think of all this. I have to wonder what he would think about the fact that she does all these things in his name. Stand up for Uncle Jerry. Stand up for Jerry Lewis. Stand up for your hero. She's the wicked widow claiming loyalty to my uncle. And those of you who are standing by her, you're not defending his principles. You're not defending his reputation. You're complicit in this. Revelation. I'm glad I wouldn't go to place it because I didn't have a bone to pick. I'm only 42, honey. I was born in 1982. I just know that I love Mr. Jerry Lee. <laughs> Look, and I just love his music. I just cover him on my channel. So, if anybody wants to come for me, baby, I'm not on either side, baby. I'm just, I'm just, hey, I'm just spreading the, the, uh, the, what I hear and what's being said. And this is a YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm just a little country girl in Louisiana that likes Jerry Lee, the killer. Verses 3, verses 14 to 17. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that thou wert cold or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. I've heard my uncle quote that very scripture. He didn't believe it's my husband running water in the background. Who could not make up their mind or sat on a fence. So, Lewis, stand up for your hero. She's the wicked widow, claiming loyalty to my uncle. And those of you who are standing by her, you're not defending his principles, you're not defending his reputation, you're complicit in this. Revelations 3, verses 14 to 17. I know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that thou wert cold or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. I've heard my uncle quote that very scripture. 
He didn't believe in people being two-faced. He did not believe in people who could not make up their mind or sat on a fence. So, the next podcast is going to be released next Saturday. So I'll upload that one next Saturday. One Keisha Koo's signing out. Love you all. Which is hey, everybody. It's me, Keisha Koo. Y'all, I was sitting here... <laughs> I just start uh, searching uh, Spotify. I know I'm I'm old timer, even though I'm young. But anyways, I come across this uh, podcast and I, I kind of like it. Um, I don't have a bone to pick in this battle, but um, it's uh, Jerry Lee Lewis's niece, and I think it's his sister's daughter. But um, and I'm sure that she has a lot of insight with it being her uncle and I don't know which wife Judith B is but I think from what I've covered her before that um if you go back in my Jerry Lee Lewis videos it's, you know it's not Myra so don't go for Myra I don't want to hear nobody going for Myra anyways but um because I'm still going to cover her I, I bought her book I just I have to read it I wish it was actually on audio because I just I dread reading because I have to wear my glasses and trying to look at it but um anyways uh this is Jerry Lee Lewis's, uh, I don't mean, I, well, I could look it up, but I don't have, I would have to get out of this podcast that I'm just going to let y'all listen to. Uh, but I think it's his several, anyways, it's, it was somehow his wife in the later years, and I think that her, his daughter that was helping him manage his money for like 10 years, her and the daughter had like some kind of falling out Jerry Lee Lewis's daughter uh is it Edie I think it's I, I don't know I don't remember his daughter's that name specific but I love her name and she looks just like her dad and it's uh it's his daughter that helped him manage his money well I think when and Miss Judith you know if anybody for her don't come for me I'm just covering it because you know I'm a YouTuber so I'm just here for the commentary baby and I love Jerry Lee Lewis so um and this is what his niece is saying but um and <laughs> i don't mean to i don't mean to laugh because it's not funny i have no bone to pick him with this you know i've never met miss judith but i do know that i think something happened where she came between him and his daughter and he pretty much like pushed his daughter not pushed her aside because he loves his daughter but pretty much like gave all the the say so to his wife judith uh and the title of this podcast is wicked widow episode one introduction and okay and it's called the legacy my uncle jerry lee lewis and i think it's linda lewis's jerry lee lewis's sister's daughter but i'm not for sure but i think so but we're just gonna listen to what she has to say i hope y'all can hear it because i'm watching it on my big tv and i'll upload it with some pictures i'll find some pictures to upload with it but this is called Legacy, and it's Wicked Widow Episode 1 Introduction. Nobody don't come for me on here. It's on a podcast, so I'm just covering it. You know, I don't know uh, Miss Judith, but <laughs> I've had a long week, and I just want to get somebody else's drama, so let's just listen to it. <laughs> Widow of the late Jerry Lee Lewis, but it's not about revenge. It's about accountability. A friend of mine was planning to, to do this podcast, but... I persuaded her it should be me. I don't want her in the line of fire. I'm sure this will make more than a few people angry. I just ask everyone to listen, please, with an open mind. My name is Mary Jean Ferguson, and I'm the daughter of the late Cecil Harrelson and Linda Gale Lewis. Linda Gale Lewis told y'all. I'm not to be directly involved with this podcast because I don't.